For me, German music is a little like German wine. I was surprised at how good some of it is. Some of it is definitely an acquired taste, and I didn't know anything about it until I moved here. So today is going to be a bit of a musical wine tasting session. We've got to kick things off with the sweetest thing on offer, Schlager. The word Schlager means hit, reflecting the commercial nature of this style. A Schlager song usually has simple, uncontroversial lyrics, a catchy tune, and energetic performers with big smiles. While the genre had its heyday back in the 70s, it's still big business today. Just ask Queen of Schlager Helena Fischer, whose catchy clubby tunes made her one of the highest paid women in music worldwide. Ready to meet some Schlager performers? Ich komme aus Schweden ursprünglich und bin seit 15 Jahren in Köln, Deutschland. Und ich komme aus Louisville, Kentucky und ich bin fast 20 Jahre in Deutschland. German Schlager music is a lot like country music, I think, because in every Schlager song there's a story, there's something to be said, it's easy, it's identifiable, it's relatable, and there's heart to it. Whatever the song is about, if it's happiness or sad or whatever, you want people to feel it. I think Germans need Schlager yes. music. You need it as the break from the day-to-day -day norm. That's the thing with Germans. Like, they can seem very closed off and calm, but when they listen to their favorite Schlager song, it's like Carnival in Cologne. It's craziness. And it's the same thing on a Schlager event. You have to be a character to, yeah. to be in the Schlager scene. And you have to like it. You know, we, we love it. <laughs> we love it. This one is dark, earthy, a bit gritty. It must be time for German rock. Rock accounted for nearly 20% of music revenue in Germany in 2020, and the country hosts several major rock festivals, including Wacken, a heavy metal extravaganza that takes over the small, unassuming northern village of the same name for a weekend each year. Acts like The Scorpions, Blind Guardian, and Doro are huge on the global rock metal scene. And even non-connoisseurs like me have heard of one of Germany's most successful rock exports, Rammstein. They go big on style and staging, and they've caused a stir many times over with controversial lyrics, outfits and videos. Not all the wine in my selection is German. Of course, you'll hear a lot of English language music here. By the 90s, only 20% of chart hits in Germany were German. But that trend has reversed in recent years. In 2020, more than 60% of all top 100 singles were homegrown productions. Now I think it's time for some fizz. If champagne is a symbol for hip hop, then German Zekt can only mean one thing, Deutschrap. That's right, there's a whole genre specifically called German rap or German hip hop. This ranges from the poppier 90s pioneers Die Fantastischen Vier, all the way to the current king of Deutschrap, Capital Bra. He landed 13 number one hits in Germany in just one year. There's auto -tune galore. And accusations of sexist or misogynist lyrics. But it is one of the most popular genres right now, especially among younger Germans. Many successful Deutschrap artists have multicultural backgrounds. They mix German lyrics with Turkish, Arabic or Russian. And they address issues such as racism and integration in their tracks. Whew, I need a break from the wine. Ah yes, this'll do nicely. A caffeine-packed soft drink that's all the rage among clubbers. Which brings us swiftly on to... Techno. Even though this type of music has by now hit the mainstream with dedicated clubs and festivals across Germany, there's still an edge of the original underground scene with industrial warehouse locations and a general anti-establishment attitude. Sven Veth, Moderat, Monika Kruse, Marusche, Paul van Dijk, the list of German techno stars is long. Okay, back to the wine. This one says, made in Jamaica, bottled in Germany. Yep, I kid you not, German reggae is a thing. Big names include Gentleman, Sebastian Sturm, Seed and Jan Delay. And my hometown Cologne hosts Europe's biggest reggae festival, the Summer Jam. Finally, here's a vintage bottle. You know when you're at a house party or a wedding or whatever, and it reaches that point in the night where someone sticks on the nostalgia playlist? Well, it can be pretty awkward being the only person who doesn't know the words. 
So here are five German classics to get you started. Scorpion's Wind of Change. Die Melodie liegt einem direkt im Kopf. Na, na, na. Na. La, 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 la. Wind of Change. The Scorpions have been performing for more than 50 years and have sold millions of records worldwide. Their 1990 hit Wind of Change became an anthem for German reunification. Kraftwerk das Model. Na, 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 na. Sie ist ein Model und sie sieht gut aus, ne? Dubbed the Beatles of electronic music by the New York Times, there's no doubt that the Deadpan Quartet from Düsseldorf were pioneers in their field. Nina, 99 Luftballons? Ja, klar. Hast du etwas Zeit für mich? Singe Dann ich ein, ein Lied, Lied für dich. Für dich. 99, 99 Luftballons. Wir am Weg zum Horizont. This anti-war protest song is a classic example of the Neue Deutsche Welle, or New German Wave Music in 1980s West Germany. Die Toten Hosen, alles aus Liebe. Und alles nur, weil ich dich liebe. Komm, ja, ich die ich bestimmt. Meine liebe Aber ist. Even though the lyrics basically tell the story of a murder-suicide, this song by the German punk rock legends is sure to get party guests swaying arm in arm on the dance floor and bellowing out the chorus together. Herbert Grönemeyer Männer. Männer nehmen den Arm, Männer geben Geborgenheit. Männer sind bekloppt, Männer sind verrückt. Wann ist ein Mann? Der Mann ein Mann? Wann ist ein Mann ein Mann? This guy is the biggest selling artist of all time in Germany. In this song, the German and Kruner digs into the question of masculinity. Was fehlt noch auf dieser Nostalgie Playlist? Vielleicht irgendwas von den Ärzten oder sowas in der Richtung. Vielleicht Silbermond irgendetwas? Oh, Howard Carpenter. Der Trompen ist immer so ein Klassiker. Westernhagen ist auch mal ganz ganz interessant, ja. Vielleicht fettes Brot. Zum Beispiel Kanäler Musik finde ich ganz cool. Klaus Lage. Tausendmal berührt, tausendmal ist nichts passiert, <lacht> tausend und eine Nacht und das hat Zoom gemacht. Zoom gemacht. Ja. Of course, there's so much more to say about German music, so we'll be back with more on Instagram soon. Did any of your favourite German bands or artists not get a mention today? Post them in the comments and tell us why they're worth a listen.